Everyone, everyone, how are we doing today, citizens? How's your IAE going? How's that fleet plan looking? <laughs> Is it looking good? Is it looking bad? Did you just accidentally win an F5 war on a Javelin or an Idris? Possibly a Kraken. Who knows if that's coming, you know? Are you gonna, you gonna go for that? <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the IAE and everything that's coming up and all the things that we had seen through the leaks that we have gotten now. And one of the things is just LTI tokens because everyone's, you know, predicting the prices of these smaller ships that keep coming out, the smaller vehicles, and making some sort of contradiction and a prediction that, you know, these are going to be like $100. Everyone was, you know, putting this price out there for the Sulin. Now it's going to be some ridiculous price when, in fact, we know that it's going to be a much cheaper price for the simple fact of it having this persuasion on a smaller um, gameplay style for people who are you know, wanting a starter ship but wanting something quite reliable and the Sulin does that um, but again like being at the price tag it is like 70 80 bucks is quite nice in that retrospective um, thought you know I think it's like what is it 65 US dollars, I believe. Um, and I got mine with the Teo, Teo, Mayo, <laughs> Teo Moa paint, which was quite unique. And even still, I'm pretty sure the Storm is more expensive than it. And even the Storm AA, like they are rather expensive as compared to the Sulin. Now, it got me also thinking like, those are good. And it all depends on like what sort of LTI token you want. Do you want a lower range? LTI token or do you want a higher range LTI, like LTI token so back in the day I brought a ton of Spartans like I think I got like eight or nine Spartans in LTI tokens in buybacks because I just melted them because I wanted to get a few other ships and it makes me think like how many other people out there have all these LTI, to LTI tokens stashed up for their fleet plans and how important to a lot of people is LTI I know a lot of people think you know it's not going to be a big deal in the like in the future and it may very well not be but it's also got to get you thinking like what are you going to do with your fleet in the future how are you going to man all these ships how are you going to pay for everything you know you gotta you gotta think about all these different options of what you have to do all these different um strategies that you want to think about but anyway for myself you know i got quite a few ships back and i will i'm still not done you know i'm still going to buy some lti tokens um, I'm still going to be using my uh, credits as well because I still got like a, a lot of credits left and they'll be getting built on top of the LTI tokens that I'm going to be buying back over the next two, three weeks possibly. And my thought is, do I go for bigger ships and move away from the smaller ships? What is everyone's idea on their fleets right now? Are you moving towards smaller fighters, large fighters? Are you moving towards multi-crewing ships like the Carrick, um, possibly the Polaris, the, the Perseus. I think I might get the Perseus back, to be honest. I don't mind that little ship. Um, but again, obviously, these are ships that are to be foreseen within the future of development or whatever it is. And does it hinder your choice on whether or not you know that you can or can't man these ships? Does it actually have some effect on how you think and build your fleet? Because I know a lot of people who have Legatus, Praetorian, and they're moving up further and further. And it's almost like they don't let that bother them. You know, it's, I don't know. I feel like it's some form of just wanting to fund the game, buy these ships, and at, at the part of it, it, it's almost an addiction. <laughs> it's horrible to say that, but it's almost like an addiction. And people are buying these ships because they might have a bit of FOMO. They want to get their LTI token. They want to get the original backer item. They just want to have the ship, have it like on them. Now, I know, like I said, a lot of people with Legatus, and I think it's just having the next ship, have, always having that next ship that's going to come out, or that next ground vehicle. And a lot of people might not do that. But again, 
it's all about that process of keeping up with your fleet and building it and structuring it and then it all depends whether or not you have that mentality of just I'm going to keep going I'm going to keep you know putting money into this game I'm just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing so what is your mentality why how have you structured your fleet and why have you structured it the way you have what ships have you brought at this sale what ships are you going to buy at this sale are you going to be buying much war bond are you going to be using a lot of credits how are you going to be spending the money on your fleet and where is the money coming from obviously you don't have to put it down in the comments you don't have to make it known but again what is your mentality when you go into a sale like this and i know we all go in there with a little bit of having a fleet structure what we want planned out what we want to do what ccus we want to get and then sometimes it can just be blown straight out of the water and we don't even do any of that and i know that's for some of the cases what i do but at the moment i know what the fleet i want i know the sh that i've got the ships i want and i just want to keep building my fleet i want to keep getting it bigger i want to keep getting more i know it's a cliche to say that but I think a lot of people are just building their fleets right now and everyone's gonna have these super massive fleets where people don't even want to crew on someone else's ship and but they want everyone to crew on their ship and that's that's the mentality that we need to get rid of and you know even myself having a large fleet I'm more than happy to play on like go on my friends ships I don't care as long as we're having fun and we're going out in the verse I don't care even my friends who have massive fleets come over to my ships and sometimes I just tell them like hey fly the ship you know I want to try a big gunner for once I want to have a bit of fun instead of flying all the time and it's a, it's fun flying but it's fun to switch out the roles and do different things and try and build your skills in other places on Star Citizen but anyway let us know what you think about this I want to know exactly how you all feel about this and i do read the comments i do respond to them when i can i hope you enjoyed this if you liked it leave a like comment subscribe if you didn't leave a dislike and we'll see you in the verse peace